I've got a 14 inch Dollar Tree wreath base here. I've cut all my mesh at 20 inches. It's just the 10 inch mesh at 20 inches. We're going to do a woodland or just a ruffle, plain ruffle. Um, I decided sometimes less is more, so we're just going to keep. This is my newest sign, our newest sign, Back Kisses and Halloween Wishes. And in conjunction with that, I made a little gnome head too. So we're going to add him on the wreath also. And I have various ribbons and some embellishments, so... We're using the tinsel ties. My tinsel ties are cut at 12 inches and attached to the wreath base. Total of um, 18, 10 on the first level, eight on the second level. Um, that's the only sign I'm showing tonight. Hi Peggy, doing great. Boy, the weather was really nice today in our area. I hope it was in your area. Just not real humid, just sunny and just nice for a change. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm releasing a bunch tomorrow and it will probably be on YouTube at um, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you didn't sign up for the contest and vote on your favorite sign from the last release, you might want to do that because we draw names tomorrow to see who won the sign. And we're going to be doing something a little bit different tomorrow. So I'm excited. I hope you can join me. It's one you probably won't want to miss. So, hi Vicki. <laughs> How about that? Vicki's here on time. <laughs> There's no clock, Vicki. Nope. No clock. I didn't know you were a member of um, Dre's group, Peggy. That's awesome. I was on there yesterday. Learned a lot. I love that star wreath. That was really pretty. If y'all wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I sprinkled around a little bit ahead of time. So if y'all could do that. That would help me a lot. I'm just excited about tomorrow. I'm hoping to blow you guys away. I've been working hard. Doing a lot of painting today. Hey Dawn. Dawn's here with her mask on. <laughs> Thank you for sprinkling. I so appreciate that. Every little bit helps. So you all have a good day where you're at today. Is the weather nice? Yep. Yesterday was my first class. And I loved it. She is amazing. Less is more. What what a you know what an experience. No, it's not every week. I think it's only she is on there certain times throughout the week, but I think she only does instructions like twice a month. Oh, that sounds nice. Got, again, a 14-inch wreath base here. 
18 ties, tensile ties, cut at 12 inches. The mesh is a 10 inch mesh, cut at 20 inches. Ooh, 98. I think the East Coast got lucky today. It was just a beautiful day. You know, I struggled to see the the comments. So what I did was <laughs> I magnified it quite a few times. So now I don't have to squint. But now I did it too much. Back off. There we go. Okay. Too much to read. I just went with a basic orange mesh. There's going to be more heads coming out. I mean, last week I showed you the scarecrow that matches the false sign. This is the Halloween warlock who matches this, um, my new sign, our new sign. And then um, some fun ones coming up. I just listed this on my Etsy page today. Um, I already had one go out last, this morning. And tomorrow, in the same listing, you're going to be surprised. So, again, if you didn't vote for the YouTube um, contest from the last sign release, you need to go do that today by tomorrow at 2 o'clock because tomorrow we draw the name of the winner so I will probably be live on YouTube tomorrow um, there's another new sign release and then we have a project we're gonna do so you might want to be there it's a creative project to go with something new Am I piquing anyone's curiosity? Don't forget to spread the love for me. probably not going to see the mesh or the wreath base by the time I get done. I do have some black mesh on hand if I need it. All right, we're done with the bottom row. So now we're going to start on the top row. Yep. Thank you, Peggy. Yeah, and not only... You join um, Dre's group, you also get 20% off her supplies, too. And boy, does she have some neat ones. Holy cow. I need some help with my grapevines and stuff, so. Yes. It's going to be fun, fun, fun tomorrow. I've been painting away today, getting ready as best I could. So yes, I'm excited. Hi, Nanny Dot, how are you? Welcome. Are you still with the with Precious and Bunner?
Dorothy is my, is Nanny Dot to all of us. She's our dog sitter. She doesn't sit on them. She watches them. <laughs> I used to hate that when I had my daycare. I did that for 14 and a half years. And when someone would call me a babysitter, I'd flat out tell them I don't sit on babies. I watch them. Hey, Kathy, welcome. We're about in Texas. Are you from? I've been around down there. El Campo, Wharton, Bay City, Abilene, Sweetwater. Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought it was this weekend, because she had asked me and I was busy. Fort Worth, yes. Fort Worth is big. That highway is scary when you're going through there for the first time. And that was back in the 70s. I can imagine how busy it is now. Using my Pearly Weights by Pearl Higgins to weigh the ends of my um, mesh down. I got those at the conference last year in Rochester in September. Great for measuring ribbon tails. I know, right? It's so bright and cheery. My gnome is just going to spruce it up. I have three, four, five, six more heads coming out to be released before Christmas. So there's going to be a lot going on. We're going to want to keep an eye on things. or sprinkling but yet it doesn't show anything up on my end that's weird again I don't know why that happens this is very cheery Orange slices are like my favorite candy. I love orange slices. How did I get one extra? I know I cut. There she is. In there. I knew I might have missed one. good. That's what this wreath is reminding me of. There we go. And one more. Jeez. I was worried about time. <laughs> Flying through this one. Hey, Dawn. Thank you very much. It's appreciated. We are doing a new wreath. Halloween. We have 10 inch mesh. Cut it 20 inches. We've got a little noom head. He's going to be one of many to come. I did the scarecrow last week. We've got this guy this week. And we've got our sign, bat kisses, and Halloween wishes. So, I'm thinking 
thinking I'm going to mount the sign at the top. See, I did that last week. i got to do it different. Let's mount the sign on the side. And I don't know why I always go to the one side. Let's go to this side. Let's do that. And let's put him over this side. Now I have, um, I'm trying to find those little bat um, sequins. Because see how he has bats in his beard? I want to be able to put some of those in his beard over here too. The ones I made, they were too big. So, let me see. I did cut some black mesh in case I needed it. And I'm not liking the sign right against the black. So I think, I think I'm just gonna do a few pieces of black in there. So, these are cut at 24. So I think I'm gonna cut these in half. Is my color. There we go. This is gonna be design as I go. Only because I do better that way. I think we'll use this to hold. So how's everybody doing? Good day where you're from. All right, so we've got some 12 inch rolls that I'm going to put basically around the re around the sign. So my hole punch. And I can't wait to show you the extras. that are going to be available to go with this. So, and that's part of tomorrow's surprise. And it's not that I didn't finish them. It's just a new release that I wanted to be able to show you all together. Yes. I, I definitely, if I get out stuff, now sometimes you'll try something and it isn't, it doesn't work for you and you can rip it apart, but we're all artists and we create. And like I said, I do better if I create on the fly. That way I don't go into it with any expectations. So if something comes out of it that works, then I feel like I accomplished something, if that makes sense. I may use a few more of these, but I kind of like them just peeking out here and there. <coughs> I don't want to get too many of them on here because I want his hat to stand on its own so I don't want to be putting a lot of these behind his hat because I want that to pop and it's not that we're trying to put pressure on ourselves. I just think we have a better outcome sometimes all right so I'm going to attach the sign here I also um, went ahead and glittered some cats and a bat that I want to put on the sign too. Just not sure where yet. There we go. That went down too far. I'm bringing it back up some. These tinsel ties quality isn't there like the ones I have in my shop. There we go. So we're just getting a little bit of black against the 
orange peeking out there. Let's put a few more around. Hi, Patricia. We're live, so you could watch the replay after. Where are you watching from, Patricia? get this guy on and then we'll see where we want to put in some more and then we're gonna do a bow I always leave the tinsel ties on the back of my um, character heads that way if you have a really full wreath you have a lot to work with going down through so sometimes you'll end up cutting some off. I know, it's really bright, isn't it? All right, so he's on there. He's about um, over 12 inches. He's about 14 inches from his hat down to his beard. So that kind of gives you an idea. Let's put a few more of these in. We have them. Might as well use them. So these are cutting at 12 inches, and I'm just scattering them here and there for little pops of color. So I think if I go like up here, then I'll go back here. It's a good mesh. It sticks good. <laughs> So we've got one, two, three, four. Let's put one. Let's do one up in here. Because we still have the ribbons to add and we still have. Hey, Susan. Susan already had a sneak peek at my gnome here. She already ordered. It's on its way. Everything went out this morning, Susan. Thank you for the order. Hi, Carol. Susan texts or sent me a message last night. Help! I need these signs ASAP. <laughs> so probably get them tomorrow. All right. Let's put these up in here. Like I said, I don't want to. I don't want too much. I just want a little. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Wasn't it beautiful today? I don't know about where you're at, but here where we're at, it was really pretty today. Okay, that's what he's looking like so far. <laughs> No, you're just a great customer, and it's just, it's sweet. All right, I also have some of these. Now, I got these at Joann's. Um, they were marked down. They're a fall pick, but they just have a little bit of black popping through. It, it almost feels like it's hard plastic spiky ball. I got balls to put in my wreath. <laughs> I just thought it'd be something different. And they got this weird kind of thing on here. I don't know where it came. 
I hope I can get it off. Because I don't want it on there. Aw, thank you. There we go. Use my He-Man tools. Man, they're really put together. It's a hog ring. There we go. Because I thought I'd do like a, a pack of three somewhere here. I think I'm going to put them against the, the black because I think that really helps them stand out. So let's see here. We don't need all of it. Just cut some, wrap it, and stick it down in there. Except, I see something here. By putting them in groups of three, I can get two groups of three and one group of two in it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put some of this under it. Just to make it stand out a little more. No. Okay. Let me look at my ribbons here. No. And I think I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to create my triangle, give it visual interest here. These are not that easy to work with. Okay, I'm going to have to stick them down in between the mesh because the mesh is really good and it's really holding me back from <laughs> pulling them down in there. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit shorter. I think that'll help us. There. And then tilt it upward like that. Okay. That's kind of different. Kind of freaky and different. And these suckers shed. They shed all over the counter. <laughs> And they just look like little eyelashes all over. The little gray puffy stuff. Come on. Well, if I could get one out, then I wouldn't have to... There we go. There we go. Now it's working. I may come back and put ribbon tail under it, or I may even put that under it. Come on. I got a really hard hog ring on there. Let me see. That looks good under it. No, nope, I still think I need to play with it some more. All right. So I think we'll go with the other ones right here. I'm gonna kind of get in the zone. So if I don't see your questions, I will go back. I like that. All right. Now I think I'm going to put the other two right down here. I was going to put them up there, but you're not going to see them up there. 
so we're going to take them down here. Just a little different pop of color in there. All right. Wow. Got to get my dustpan. I really should. Here and see what we got. If we want to see if I can get that in there with those balls. Nope. Unless I spread them out further. Now that looks dumb. All right. do some ribbon tails. Let me think on that idea a little bit. Actually, we could do our bow, but my bow is going to go right here. So we're going to move this up to here. Or no. Let me see. We can leave it there because there's a lower zip tie that I can use for the bow. I thought about using this because it's got some glitter in it. And then I have this, which I'm not liking that right now. So, this is purple with spider webs on it. Let's pull some of the purple out. We'll use this first. Hi Nancy. Not sure if I said hello. Let's see. Yeah, that looks cool. Alright, so we got that. Nope. I found this too in my stash. Nope. So maybe this one. Yeah. I'm going to go with that one. We got a little crazy last week. We couldn't make up our mind. <laughs> I'm going to do about a 10 inch tail. I don't even know where this ribbon came from. Uh, yeah, I do. Came from AC Moore, which we don't have anymore. Boo hoo. There we go. Actually, I am going to put the black and white under that bench. That under. And then 
I'm going to take this orange and I'm going to put that on there. Because I loved Missy's suggestion last week about using the one and a half to give it dimension. I love that. So we're going to do that. Which was out of my comfort zone last week because I usually don't do that. I want this a little longer. There we go. I'm only going to do two of those. Then I'm going to put the purple on top of the orange. more than that. Let me see. I am going to use more than that. I'm going to put another loop in here with two tails. Because I can. So we're going to have four tails for that one. How about that? And I'm not going to make my tails even. I am a rebel tonight. All right, now let's see if that, now this can go on top of this now. I think I like that better. Now, let's see. See. I'm going to do two and then I'm going to do a small loop in the middle. So that's really different. There we go. Now I need a zip tie and some tinsel tie. And then we're going to get creative with some ribbon. We're doing good on time. After this, um, Willie goes on. Wall Decor by Faye. Make sure, Willie, you post a link so everybody knows where to find you. Willie's on at 7. It's Tag Team Tuesday. this in there. That's about even. Now, I'm going to put this just below that. mesh get it down in there pull it up a little we don't want it smashing everything down black with the glittery diamond which I do have in my Etsy listed because um, it also goes really good with the um, All Roads Lead Home for Christmas sign that I have. working because I do need to pull it tighter. There we go. There. 
now. Now it should cooperate. straighten up the this one here and I'm going to take this tail up because it could use that color there and then this one this one's going to go down over here I don't need it that big, so we're going to trim it. And I don't like that that's not even, so we're going to fix it. Okay, so we got one of those tails going up, one coming down. And not all my tails are even, so I don't want them even. I can hear my husband doing dishes. That's the only downfall about being upstairs. I love this purple ribbon. Boy, that's got some um, power to it. It's really sturdy. Now, I think we're going to dovetail this one and we're going to wrap it up a little bit. Make it come out. Just trying something different, but no, I like it just the way it is. All right, we got our bow on here. Now we're going to add some little pops of color all the way around. So let me see. I think we're going to put some of this on top of our curls, and I'm just going to do a loop with two tails. All it needs. Sometimes you don't need a whole bunch of stuff on here. You just want to pull some of your colors and move them around. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull some of the colors and move them around. And I like this ribbon, the contrast. So that's what we're going to do because I like it. 
He's got a little purple on the buckle on his hat. And you can see I matched the, um, the noom on the sign. We designed them that way, actually. I appreciate y'all being here. Just little pops of color. You don't need total ribbon tail explosion. Especially when you have this solid background. You just need a little something to spruce it up. And that's what we're doing. We're just giving it little pops of color. Simple, easy. Sometimes I think too much ribbon can destroy it. Got a loose one. There we go. I'm liking it so far. What do you think? Did I put y'all to sleep already? Are you still with me? Or did I lose ya? Oh, there we go. I didn't lose ya. Yes, Susan, he's, um, hey, Susan. Yes, Susan, he's he's in the in the um, listing for the sign. I am selling them, just like I'm selling the scarecrow from last week's wreath. Um, there's going to be a lot more, and if you're thinking of ordering him, wait till tomorrow. Gosh, <laughs> wait. Want to order some other stuff? Um, just saying. There's some unique items coming out tomorrow. And I didn't, um, I listed them, but I didn't show pictures yet. So, it will all, you'll all figure it out tomorrow. My live is going to be on YouTube. We're going to be making something to go with... So, and, and you'll see, it all makes sense tomorrow because it's like a whole complete package. So, I, I'm, I'm hoping that everybody will like it. See, look at that. That's just simple colors. I'm sorry, I had, I wasn't following. <laughs> hey, Terry, welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. Where are you watching from? I just didn't have the comments scrolling. That's why I didn't see you pop on. Sorry about that. It will be 2 o'clock Eastern time is what time I'll be on YouTube tomorrow. Two o'clock. We're gonna be making something. We're gonna be drawing. Um, if you didn't comment in the uh, last sign reveal, you're gonna to wanna to do that before two o'clock tomorrow because we'll be drawing a name because um, you vote for your favorite, your favorite sign from the last release, and if you win, you get your sign. So you might want to do that. You might want to register for that. And then, like I said, we have a project to do, and then I will be releasing, I think it's 
that's about 12 more signs. So you might want to you might want to check it out. Just saying. You might want to check it out. I'm hoping you'll be extremely I know, right? I was a busy girl all weekend. And these are different sizes too. So they're not um they're not your normal sizes. So I'm hoping to blow you all away. Okay, I think I need one under here and one right here. And then I don't know how much time we got. Oh, we only got eight minutes before um, Willie goes on. So I think we're going to be right there at our eight minute mark. And really, I don't think I'm going to add any more to this. Like I said, I want to find those little sequins, the bat sequins, so I can put a few in his beard. Um, but no, we're not going to be adding any more. Just, and really, I think this can go between a screen door too, because it's really not that, oh yeah, oh geez. This isn't even seven inches. Cool. May sell local then. Okay, I got one more to put in right over here. You see this ribbon has the purple, it has the black, it has the orange. So it pulled all the colors out and kind of blended everything together. Hey Esther, how are you? Oh, that's awesome, Susan. Well, I wasn't doing anything, so. Now, where did Terry? Okay, Terry said she's from North Carolina. Where in North Carolina? Because Dawn's watching, and Dawn lives, lives in North Carolina, too. In, in making those signs last night, it's kind of like go fish. You know, you kind of have to find the elements to match what you sent me. So, oh, okay. So you're two hours behind, Vicki. Okay. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you. Yep, so be sure to tune in tomorrow, especially if you voted. Because if you voted, you have a chance to win your favorite sign. Let me look. I'm seriously thinking that's all she needs. Except, like I said, he needs... These bats are too big. I think he needs like some small bats in his beard. I don't even think I want to put these in here anywhere. Like I had two sequin I don't think so I think that's fine it's just simple simple yet cute what do you think yes perfect for a screen door ah thank you thank you Jean Janie all right so he's listed in my Etsy boutique with him and then like I said there's going to be a surprise tomorrow that's gonna you'll love it I hope you love it because I spent all day on it today painting and getting everything ready for tomorrow this glitter is like it's got some static going on here Yay! Yeah, and then once I find the little sequin bats, we'll put those in there, Susan. I should be able to find them. But yeah, he see, he 
matches the noom. Can you see real good? He matches the noom. Just like um, last week's scarecrow. Come on, buddy. See? He matches the sign, too. And I'm releasing three more signs tomorrow that will also get a face with him, like these two. They run between 12 to 14 inches, depending on, like, this guy's beard from top here to there is 14 inches. You can watch the replay, Susan. Thank you. Yeah, and like I said, I think you'll really be excited tomorrow. All right, so did Willie post her link? I posted all my links. I posted the link for YouTube, my Etsy boutique, my other Facebook page. Um, so yeah, you wanna go over to Willie's page, Wall Decor by Faye. Um, we did a designer's choice again. That way we have some creative, um, you know, choice of what we want to do. And a lot of times, too, you change things at the last minute. So, so I hope I get to see you all tomorrow. And I can't wait to um, draw the name of the winner from the last release. And we'll do one from this release, too. Why not? I love, I love sending signs off <laughs> just as much as I hope everybody enjoys getting them. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. Don't forget to pop over to, to Willie's page and uh, hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow at 2 Eastern Standard Time. Okay? If not, you'll be able to go on and watch later on. You don't have to be present to win. So if I did choose your name, um, don't worry. I'll get with you, okay? You have to leave in the comments uh, the one that you chose. It says, I own it, it says, Bat Kisses and Halloween Wishes. Come back here, some. Okay, you're welcome. All right, hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow or see you over at Willie's page. All right, have a great night. Thank you.